no I'm gonna mute that now for a couple seconds yeah
maybe, maybe. Does this work? Are we live? Are we doing it? Is it not just my voice over jazz, me clicking on stuff and breathing heavy? I think we did it. Welcome to our evening smooth jazz. <clears throat> Amoeba drawing sesh man. Dude, I should have had uh, some shades, but I don't. So, um, how you doing? Glad to be back. It's been a while. It's been a bit while. All right. Well, so are you, um, Melissa and me making huffing and weird noises at the beginning there. Maybe, uh, hopefully I didn't swear or say anything weird. That's why I gave myself a few minutes at the beginning here with this new intro, because, uh, my pen wasn't working. And I was like, oh no, do I have to restart my whole computer? And then I just restarted Clip Studio and put the batteries in and did some stuff from my pen and it appears to be working. Everything's okay. How's the volume? Too loud? Too quiet? Am I yelling? It sounds like I'm yelling. Is the jazz too loud? Just some stuff moving around and stuff. It does use a battery. Guy. I'm not going to take it apart because I uh, don't want to screw it up again. Put my tablet and use the battery. All right, enough uh, just looking at my face. Oh, that's not the right learning still. Oh, welcome back, Matt. Welcome back. All right. I'm really good at this. Maybe our chat just doesn't count as top chat. It's just no good. They're like, man, I'm that guy. He's no good at this. Nico, he's trying, but we count as top chat. A bit quiet. Yeah, I'm usually a bit quiet. I'm also below the landlady's bedroom, but I guess it's only 7.49. I got a little bit of a late start today, hey? Kind of hoping I'm doing this a little bit earlier today in this afternoon, but I'm still working on some stuff, so. Good to have you, Nico, as always. And if there's anybody else out there, good to have you too. Okay. You guys want to draw some amoebas? Yeah, so the whole point of this just Beast Ember thing was to um, kind of just start with um, some basic stuff and. Um, Draw some less basic stuff, more recognizable animals and things. So, boom, drawing amoebas. This is it. This is it, folks. This is how we do. Legitimately, um, yeah, the point was to try and use just wiggly lines to, to warm up, try and practice getting better at our line work as we um, grow but we'll, uh, we'll draw some other stuff other than just amoebas because uh, you know and we'll, we'll get into a little bit more stuff but basically the point is to um, just have fun especially if you, if you think you can't draw or you think you um, don't have a creative bone in your body or you can only draw stick people this is, um, this is your time to just just blob it out, right? Just blobs. Just do some little shapes, some, uh, these are the vacuoles, okay? See, where they um, catch the food and stuff. There's the uh, nucleus there, sure. And they can have these, these pseudopods that they bring out catch their food. There you go. Obviously. I guess we could make that like a cheeseburger. A little cheeseburger for our amoeba. Hot girls are waiting here. 
That's exciting. I should be, um, be not drawing amoebas and check out that sexfind.biz. Don't I have robots? Don't I have robots that are supposed to get, get out of here? Well, I did turn up the volume a little bit as well. Is it too loud now? Now am I screaming? Of course the landlady's gonna walk upstairs while I do this. Cause she plans to be stampy. That's the, um... Oh. Cytoplasm in here? See what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, it's just a warm-up, just a warm-up, and we'll draw some, like, some cooler amoeba things as we go, but. And we can do a really nice amoeba piece for the end. Draw any shapes you want. See, I do have a tendency to sort of draw some of the same similar curves, so it's an opportunity for you to, uh, you know, try to expand your, um, your shape language. Boom. A little bit different. A little bit different than what I've been drawing. Yeah. If you want, you can give your amoeba a little bit of, uh, a little bit of shading. And then, you know, bottom side. Usually we see amoebas kind of flat, like on a microscope thing, but I haven't seen any uh, journey to the microcosm. That sounds amazing. Uh oh. You're drawing? Or at least writing, doing something? That's exciting. This guy's gonna be eating French fries because he uh, doesn't like cheeseburgers. But -ba -doo 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 -ah. I'm gonna suck that up into his vacuole. Yeah, good practice to um, draw circles. Just fill an amoeba. You know, just fill one up. The circles like that. Am I leaning? I'm leaning, eh? Is that weird? Don't care. Boom sounds. Yeah, the little critters are amazing. Like, no, honestly, I was kind of looking up uh, amoebas for reference for this. Let's see if I can pop this over here. And, um, just hold tight. Just hold tight. I know the uh, chat's probably all wonky there. So let me get this straightened out. Uh, I'm still not that good at this. Okay, we got. Oh, yeah, so there's. Um, I do have a Beast Simber reference folder and things like that for everybody who uh, may want to partake. And, um,. I'll put the link in the description after this. I didn't you know, get a chance to fill out the description very much because I was running behind. But um, let's do this. Does this work? Chill. Yeah, I like the, um, the little creators. They're some pretty amazing things, man. Tardigrades. Those things freak me out. The little like water bears. They're like. Look up tardigrades. I don't think I might even have some in this reference folder. Can you see that? Yeah. That's not the right. We want that. So this is like I collected some reference for everybody. If they're um, interested in partaking, you can. I'll uh, link this down below. You can find it in my Discord if you like. That should be linked already in the description. But uh, yeah, like some of these, these are pretty amazing. You know what I'm saying? Isn't that cool? Look at this. Look at this. 
Pinterest puts that when you um, do any links to their stuff. So I'll be setting up, see, um, a bunch of folders here. This is just day one because I plan to maybe do some earthworms and some things like that because amoebas might get a little bit, uh, you know, a little too simple, a little too um, long term. But we might do something. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> Take it easy now. It's a really cool um, illustration. Something like this. I believe this is probably a paramecium, but uh, we can draw some paramecium's if you want. Some hairs on there. Mm. But yeah, it's, uh, is this the one? Well, I can't play it unless I go to Pinterest, which I'm not going to do right now. You can, uh, you can explore these if you'd like. You can find the, uh, the link later on. Okay, how about some worms? Do you guys know that, um, look at this. Look. At this, sometimes you just gotta say, look at this. Look at this, uh, they combine and their talon comes off here. It turns into an egg and a worm. All right, cool stuff. I guess this isn't biology, but a little bit, a little bit. That was also the point. Tardigrades are freaking amazing. Yeah, that's. I wouldn't be surprised either if they're on the moon, because they. Why is the chat just not showing up in this thing? It's frustrating. Like, what's the point of having this whole screen here? If it's uh, like this, so maybe I could do um, that. What can I do? Me with it. Come, how oh, come uh, I thought I could do that? Oh, there we go. So there we go. We did it. Hey there. I guess if the other chat's not working, you can see it in the chat. Yeah, they've uh, taken tardigrades into space. Apparently, they've been found in like uh, the Arctic, in Arctic ice. They've been found in the deep seas. They've been found in, I think, lava or near lava, something like I saw. I was like, what? All right, this is looking really good. This is like, look at how awesome. I'm so glad that like I have this YouTube channel to show just how great of an artist I truly am. Um, we're gonna select nope. We're gonna select all of that, and we're gonna delete it because uh, yeah, let's draw some paramecium. So it's just for fun, just drawing some shapes. Some kind of thing. Maybe these ones I'll try to do a little bit better so we can share these on social media. Try and make it look like I actually know what I'm doing. I don't. Yeah, they have. I'm going to assume that in reference to they have found them in lava. If you make the lines a little lighter, it'll sort of appear like they're inside, kind of being obscured a little by the, the cytoplasm. Wait, paramecium's have cytoplasm? I don't know. I'm not really a... This one could be 
Maybe this one's a paramecium potato. It's your world, okay? It's your world. You can do whatever you want. The point right now is to just warm up and have some fun on day one. Be December. Won't worry about drawing some crazy shit. Stuff. Watch your profanity. Crazy stuff a little bit uh, later in the month. I don't know why I do that. Why do I do that? Uh, Clint Eastwood thing. They do probably run the planet probably more than we think they do. It's tardigrades. Oh, just have fun. I'm just having fun. Drawing some paramecium. Some, uh, some amoebas. How's Nico this evening? Oh, yeah, okay. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for the Clint Eastwood person. It wasn't necessarily a Clint thing. I don't know. I just... It's a natural... Probably because I <laughs> rather be somebody else than uh, be myself. Not that there's anything wrong with me. I'm great. But you know, it's just sometimes easier to be a character, you know what I'm saying? So if you put a little bit of line weight, Kind of give that on the inside. It'll kind of give that uh, effect that it's got. The inside? What am I talking about? The bottom side? You know what I'm saying. I speak words in English. A bit of um, some some height, some volume, some gooness. Thanks for joining me tonight, Nico. Thanks. And often, usually, you're uh, pretty swell. So what's he eating in here? Maybe he's got this. He's a healthy amoeba, so he's eating a bowl of... Uh, Salad. There it goes. So this will come into play a little bit more when we do some of snakes and worms, but yeah, if you want you can kind of make your brush a bit bigger, or if you're doing this traditionally, you can use the side of your pencil or a dull pencil, or just sort of paint it out if you have a bigger brush or something, depending on how you're drawing along. A little bit of, um, a little bit of shadow there on the bottom, you know, sort of, see, give it some, um, a bit of shape. Ba -da -da. Scooby Doo Wow person live stream good see I'm well I wouldn't say cheating but 
I can kind of erase, but ink pen is uh, it's actually great to start to draw with because it forces you to make decisions, strong decisions, without, um, yeah, you can't really go back on them. You gotta kind of work with what you got. You can make this a bit darker if you want, but I kind of, kind of have to do the same. It's not fair. Nico's working with, excuse me, the difficult tools here. Let's see. See, I'm immediately afraid. I'm like, oh no, this shape, it's all like jagged because I'm afraid to make weird marks. Mm-hmm. If you uh, want to get the free pencil, you can get free pencil brush for Clip Studio Paint that I designed myself, that I was using, but now I'm, oh no, I am still using it, but I've just changed the parameters, but, well, that's ugly, oh, it's too late, it's ink, it's there, we've got to work with it, and then we're going to darken that a bit. This is all for practice, so that we can get better at animals. Mostly so we can draw creatures and creatures. However you say it. Yes, shading is hard with a pen. Um, Clip Studio is not free, but it usually goes on um, sale quite often. It's quite a lot cheaper than... Um, Photoshop and the like and um, If you want if you're really interested I could try to let you know when it goes on sale, but they do have um, An affiliate link in the description below where you can get it from Amazon, but uh, usually they go on sale on their actual website as well I uh, just am not affiliate with them yet, but uh, I think it's around $200 and then on mobile It's a subscription and I can't quite remember how much it is to be honest but uh, they're upgrading to version 2.0 soon. So, and then I think it's going to be subscription or people who've previously paid have to um, sort of repurchase it for a discounted price. But, um, yeah, highly recommended. I think um, it's got a really nice brush engine really smooth brushes, um, a lot of assets, um, all kinds of things like that, 3D um, characters, you can do animation, like 3D primitive uh, shapes, uh, you can actually do characters, I think I showed some of it on live streams before, but, and now they're adding AI, so you basically don't even have to learn how to draw anymore, you just have to type it in and it draws it for you, you can kind of do some cross hatching if you want, with ink to kind of give that shaded look and go with the form if you want you can put a little bit under here but it might make it a little bit kind of hairy looking so that's where you could kind of maybe go with the form this way a bit but not the greatest with shading with ink either Mm -hmm. And I'm also drawing really low, which is weird. It's way better if I draw up here. All right. I think I am going to switch this back to a little bit lighter. And let's draw some worms. Maybe. I was going to do some spirals, which is another great warm-up. And it's good to just sort of practice with spirals, and if you want to do sort of circles, you can kind of, as you can tell, you can kind of cheat and start to make them into worms. And this will also sort of come into play tomorrow with the um, snakes and stuff. But um, basically, you can just outline them. I'm going to turn this opacity back on, but. because we're sketching right now. We're just sketching. We're just having fun. 
squeaky squeak squeak. Blender's freaking awesome. I keep not learning it when I should, but are you I guess you're just doing mostly 3D? Do you use any of the um, is it the grease pen where it's like 2D animation? Bug reporting. Well, adding shading can be a little bit challenging depending on how many light sources and different things there are, but for me personally, I can, like, this is sort of why I wanted to start with simple shapes, is that I try to usually do like a top-down lighting sort of aspect, so if you got, say, your paramecium here, even if you want to, say, draw a, um, like a fake sort of spine, wherever you want, say it goes like that, you can kind of try to figure out how the form sort of would wrap around that spine, kind of give it that curvy shape. And then if you, um, you know, it's just sort of where the light is coming from, whoops, will be lighter where it's perpendicular and darkest where it's not. So see if the light's coming from that direction, then it would be slightly shaded on this side. What we can actually do is uh, if we lower the paper, which, whoa, maybe a little too dark, but. as a cheat or you can get toned paper but then you can add highlights where the light would be as well so you can kind of that's not right so if the lights here then this would be even the, the brightest spot right there and wherever the light is perpendicular. So I don't know if that helps at all, but it's sort of the um, Yes, Antique. Nice. This is the tablet I use is like a rip-off brand of Antique. Again, same with worms. It's a little bit I'm just sort of playing with simple shading, but highlights um, but worms are essentially just a cylinder so think of a cylinder again it really depends where the lights coming from but if we say the lights coming from sort of uh, like this angle facing this way so and again the highlight would be perpendicular to that it's a pretty shiny cylinder but and then anything that curves away from the surface of the light would get darker and then it would get lighter towards the light. This is not the best <laughs> rendition but I don't know if that helps at all but and then again since the light is coming down this way then it would probably hit this too so it would be a little bit brighter probably there. almost no light, be almost black sometimes, it's a little bit dark, but because there's a occlusion shadow underneath. But. Yeah, 
yeah, perspective is a disaster. See, but 3D is kind of nice because you have sort of perspective built in, which is lucky. But I mean, it's not easy to sculpt and draw in 3D, obviously, but. Don't you have to shade in 3D? I guess you have lighting that will do that for you kind of thing, right? That's too dark for a worm. We don't want that. Mm -hmm. And if we want to kind of... This sort of seems like the light is just generally coming at the worm, but you kind of push this back a little bit, like it's sort of falling behind him a little into shadow. And again, maybe a little bit under here. A little bit maybe under here, just to show that the form is turning a little bit. And again, just a bit on the back sides to show that the form is curving away from the light. give him his talum, which is that sort of obvious big ring we see around worms. So you usually don't see the binding or the uh, banding, so no, I could come in here and erase that out a little bit. I don't know what layer I'm on, so let's just draw it out. Textures, you have to hand draw the texture as well, though, don't you kind of have to hand carve it? Or sculpt it, I should say. Learn your terms, Matt. How's the uh, Jessica Rabbit coming along? Always look up there to like talk to you like you're the chat that I have. How's the Jessica Rabbit you're working on? It was looking awesome. Uh, super uh, textured. Yeah, right. Someone has to kind of make the texture from scratch and then you can sort of upload it and texture map it around it, right? I'm guessing, I think. I don't know. <laughs> I shouldn't assume things. The paramecium's are a bit interesting because the light would come through because they're, uh, they're subsurface scattering, so if, say, the light was coming that way, the light would hit here and probably be the biggest shine. But then it would also sort of come through and hit in the bottom area where it is on the ground as well. Weird because it's like a bubble, so it actually would light up the ground a bit too, almost like a water droplet. I mean, I'm presuming I don't look at too many paramecium, paramecii, parameciums. I don't know. That's all right. That's all right, man. You will when you want to, and if you don't, you um, won't. So, let's do some more worms. 
Awesome. So how long have you been working on it? I guess just a few months. You were kind of just starting there. sort of emphasize the lines a little bit where the shadows would be and you can kind of leave them out where they're not and your brain kind of finishes the rest. Kind of want to make this darker. But then everything else has to do. This a multiply layer that'll help, yeah, yeah. Woo! Did we run out of jazz? I think we did. Some smooth jazz. Do better do. Uh, well, we're restarting because it's copyright free and I don't have anything else right now. Yeah, yeah, I hear that. I think that's probably why I fall off the the uh, wagon a lot with art because I do this kind of stuff where I'm like, yeah, I'm so gung ho and I want to do streams and social media and posts and I want to share and then I get busy and something else comes up and then I can't and then I get angry and I hate myself and then I avoid doing it again because I'm like, well, man. Just gonna do it again. Just gonna fail. Just gonna fail everybody. But um, here we are. Here we are, back at it again, and that's the important thing. And I think you can do the same, Nico. I trust. Oh, that's all right. Thank you, though. Top chat thing. I don't know why it's not working. It's weird because it's showing in my my uh, window as stream is still showing but top chat's not I don't know do, 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 do. potato me but I mean potato me see him. I hope you like your museum's potato wee, yeah. Mm -hmm. Do some slugs. Slugs are super simple too. Boom. Slug. One, two, three, four. Done. Slug drawn. Another slug. Oh, it's another slug done. How about a slug over here? And he's up here eating sluggy stuff. Yeah. Slugs are extra slimy, so you can put a lot of highlights, because it makes them look all gooey. Doo -doo -doo -doo.
some caterpillars. What did I have on my list? Caterpillars, maggots. Maggots are easy. Maggots are fun. Maggots don't really have a lot of features. They really have discernible. And you could start off with just a maggot shape and kind of go with segmenting it from there. And trying to curve with the body. I don't even think they have a head. They don't have a face, do they? Time to pull up the old thing. Reference. This is where reference comes in handy. This is why we're trying to learn. These are grubs. These are maggots. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, they got some little hairs on them, but that's about it. Oh, I see, they got a little head right there, this tiny, tiny little head. The jazzy little head. They got the jazzy, jazzy little maggot head. Oh, I hope you like your hands, Jazzy, for your maggots. We don't need to get too detailed. There's a little maggot head. Nobody, know, nobody needs to know. Nobody needs to know maggots. Oh, well, this wasn't part of the plan, but it's got to be done. All right, maggot having some poop, yeah. Do 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 do. Little maggot head, and in his maggoty little body. Maggoty, yeah. What's wrong with me? Why don't people wanna watch me on YouTube? I think I know the answer, yeah. Mostly because I'm not consistent, but probably because I'm annoying too, yeah. And I'm drawing gross things like maggots. Just to watch Nico and we'll be YouTube famous. This is how we're starting. I know, I know it's not just me, but definitely haven't really been putting in the effort that I need to to actually be a successful social media person or YouTube artist or anything, but it is sort of the point as well of this challenge was to encourage myself sort of to force myself to have to do something every day and kind of make something of it even though I knew I would probably be resistant and have a hard time so that's actually why I did start off small the point was to start off simple and easy and then just have like an easy few days of warming up and drawing simple shapes so I think it's gonna be fun and I think um, it is gonna build an engagement so I have some faith in that 
to some people and they were interested. Don't know how interested, but you know, to take the time to say something means a lot. So, whether they're super interested or not, and heck, even if it's just just today, just you and me, Nico, it's worth it. Slug trail, yeah. Again, for slime, it kind of gets that edge, so you almost put highlights on each edge in a way, because it pops up. some space for himself, okay? No. Yep. Thank you. stuff for fun I don't like that so I'm erasing it oh he's probably had some salad before he's got some salad in his other vacuoles maybe he had a banana Do 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 This is also a really good trick for foreshadowing. That worm looks stupid. Maybe he got squashed there. He got squished right here. Let's. Oh, his innards. Ooh. Oh. Oh no. He's got his worm guts coming out. Oof. Sorry, bud. Somebody stepped on you, pal. D did you know that, um,. Apparently worms are paralyzed by light if they're in it for too long. That's why in a hot summer day they tend to uh, get stuck out there and roast because they can't escape fast enough and they, um, once their skin dries out, they die. They gotta have the wet skin, bud. Yeah, you can't have dry skin. They moisturize, okay, and stay out of the sun. Learn from earthworms. Actually, don't steal the sun. That's that's baloney, as far as I'm concerned. I think the sun is good for us, but don't get me started. Oof! Sorry, little guy. Boo, boo, boo. 
What's wrong with me? Why am I, why am I doing this? Who cares? We're just having fun. A little bit of squished worms. Everyone's seen squished worms before, okay? No big deal, people. That city watches one mini series on Jeffrey Dahmer and everything. Relax. Just want to take some earthworms and put them on a hook. Spoiler! Do -do -do. Learned something, didn't you? Didn't you, Nico? Say? Learned a little bit. That's good, that was the point. <laughs> groovy! Excuse me, well, that gurgle sound was groovy, I'll tell ya. I miss Earthworm Jim. That's a reboot they should make. Like, a really good, like, kind of spacey, open world, kind of Earthworm Jim thing. God, it was so good. He was so corny and, like, purpose though it was very like tongue in cheek spending too much time on the worm guts yeah But, the good news is, see, this guy, if he gets severed here and he doesn't damage his talum, which is this part here that's his, like, reproductive kind of area, and he doesn't damage his head really bad, most worms, which you probably did know, can uh, regenerate body parts. So, if this cuts off, it'll be good. Regen. He's okay. He'll be alright. We were gonna do some caterpillars too, weren't we? Let's fill a few more of these spaces. The point of this is to just really loosen up for the month. Let's fill some spaces with some amoebas. Maybe this is a hairy amoeba. It's here. It's your microscopic. It's your microcosm. You can do what you want. Excuse me. Almost about an hour. I'll draw a little bit more. We'll do a. Maybe we'll do a really nice amoeba when we're done. But now let's do. A, oh yeah, new show. Excuse me. Well, I wonder if you can hear my back crack on that <laughs> microphone. Um, yeah, a new show for Earthworm Jim would be great too. Actually, be really funny. It's some brand new topical humor and stuff. Well, it wasn't ever really topical. It was just ridiculous. I kind of liked it without. Let's do um. Keep changing up all these colors, but that's okay. Millipedes. That's another thing I. That I might do. <laughs> I was like, what crack? Did I make a crack? A wise crack? Oh, my bad crack. Stay up to focus. Up to, up to, up to, up to. Millipedes vomits. 
No, Nico, no. They're so beautiful. They're gonna like they're um they make great pets apparently, but not that I would want them. I love how you said vomits to that, but not to maggots. And one of the few things that make me really grossed out are the the bed bugs. I don't like to even talk about them as much as possible, but they bug me. They're really Oh leeches, that'd be a good one too. Oh yeah, there we go. Look at this. How's that, Nico? Good stuff. Let's see if I can actually use this for reference on the side. I mean, I could load it into subview, but I don't want to do that. Because I'm too lazy right now. How's the... Uh, How's the jazz for everybody? For Nico mostly. Good. Hopefully they're so poisonous. Well, maybe they have their poison bits unpoisonified. I don't know. For people's. For the people's. Okay, I think we're going to start a new file here. First, we're going to save this just in case. Yep, sure. Illustration 13. Change the paper right now. Let's do it right now. How's my cold tea? Cold's out. Cold. Millipedes? Are millipedes poisonous? I think centipedes are poisonous. Well, now we need to know. You've gone and gone and sparked the question, Nico. Centipedes are, but millipedes are not poisonous. Oh, but some contain hydrochloric acid that can chemically burn the skin and cause long-term skin discoloration. Cool, they're like the xenomorphs. Yes, centas are definitely well, I guess venomous, because they inject the venom. Poisonous has to be ingested or touched. But, um, yeah, they, uh, I can't remember what it's called, wild wilderness something. <laughs> wild wilderness weirdy world where they do the, they get bit on camera or whatever. And I watched a guy get bit by one of those giant centipedes that was terrifying nobody wants that so there's two ways to do this we could either try and draw the shape kind of go cut this s and start a little bit lower here I could imagine they uh, definitely look like the alien kind of vibe. I don't know if Ridley Scott necessarily designed them, but I know that um, I'm sure they had a lot to do with it. But um, H.R. Geiger, Geiger, I think is how you say it. G. I. E. He's the guy that uh, kind of designed that. He has that sort of biometric kind of 
or biomechanical style. So he did a lot of the aliens. Things like that. These kind of freaky things. So I think he was at least somewhat instrumental in the design of those. Well, that's something. Okay, let's close that. <laughs> Try not to put too many humans in the uh, reference folders, but these millipedes look pretty cool on the human hand, so I decided to do it. I'm going to do something like that. And we can kind of go in here and draw the segments afterwards. Let's see how the form turns like this. Oh, well, I'm turning it too much. And then the segments actually start to turn the other way. And then they kind of pinch here and start to turn again the other way. And he's got his big head. Well, part of the head. This is from the head down here. Again, we're not worried too much about the details of his face. It's more about getting used to drawing the shapes, but cylindrical shapes, but and then same thing, then he's got Frickin' bazillion legs, woo! So we just do Wendy's, 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 McDonald's, McDonald's, McDonald's. Squiggle, squiggle, squiggle. We got a couple there, and then these ones are hidden. Bobbit worms. I don't know what that is, but that sounds terrifying. If they're anything like Lorena Bobbit. <laughs> God, how old am I? Now I have to know. You can't just. You can't just, Nico. Yep, okay. That is. Okay. We didn't really need that in our lives but oh my god that is that's disturbo I don't know how to that one's pretty good maybe we'll try that general idea of the shape of the head kind of this cylindrical cone thing I have no idea what's going on here but it's good these things here these little um, the worm bobbit worm uh, these parts and then it's got the uh, the bobbit worm I don't know that scary spiny bit there these freaking scary spiny bits here And then this whole weird nightmare area. Who knows what's going on there? That's a face only a mother could love. Am I right? Am I right? I bet you they don't even have mothers, so they just probably asexual or something. spikies, more terrifying spikies. Right. Yeah, no, I wouldn't imagine stepping on that. I, that's... Oh, I didn't even realize in that other picture, that's... Oh, God. Those are mouth parts. So, like, in the other picture, it's, like, this terrifying, like, freaking grabber bits. Nobody needs that. Like, who in nature was like, let's make this for people to step on when they're swimming, okay? Because there wasn't enough terrifying stuff already out there. We needed this creature coming out of places. Like, what the heck? 
heck? Like, I'm trying to design stuff for creaturanuary and whatever for next month, whatever that's the point of learning how to draw some animal bits and like this is a great one because like it looks like something you wouldn't even imagine exists like you can't you, you try to explain it and it's like well it's got these it's got three big horns and then it's got like a face that doesn't have a face at all and then the grabby bits don't forget the grabby bits and cut the grabby bits that's easy for everyone to know oh yeah okay just got big pinchers sure just throw the pinchers on this thing it doesn't make any sense but everybody knows that those pinchers are there ranting it's like a, a space doom worm kind of thing yeah exactly exactly like exactly what I was just saying looks like miniature trimmer thing. spoiler alert if you haven't seen tremors you're missing out or the other six million sequels. Anyway, anyway, as I was saying with this millipede, what I could do is the segment or the uh, spiral thing too, which might be almost easier than trying to draw the shape. I'll just give it a quick little outline. Oh, so those look a little bit more like an earthworm because the segments are maybe a little too uh, small. But that will be helped when you add some legs. And the antennas. Well, the antennas going down look a little bit weird. You know, that's how it is in the picture. If you were to put them up a bit like this, they'd, uh, well. Maybe not that much. Centipedes will be much later on because I want to try to do them a little bit more detailed with their um, segmented body parts and their legs and stuff, so we're gonna get real gross and terrifying when we draw those, I think, so. Okay, 8.56. Let's draw some caterpillars. Maybe I'll do a really nice, I can try to do a nice, like, illustrative amoeba pick. Sort of like that uh, paramecium one we saw earlier. some caterpillars. These grubs, like these things are pretty gross to me too. Like these remind me of aliens quite a bit. Like the movie. for joining me today. You and Nico, but also anybody else who, you know, maybe decided to turn up a little bit later on. Yeah, I think what's extra gross is, like, their butts are almost bigger than their heads. Like, it's got that weird, like, ew, like, what's in there? Like, why did it, why does it need all that 
grossness. Just blobs. Just little shapey blobs. And the head, basically big eyeballs, and then just oh, the little mouth parts here. Again, I'm not too concerned about these. I think he's got two little legs here, and then the other four, because those are its true legs. That when it becomes, these are grubs, I believe, so this should probably become a beetle, not a moth or butterfly, but I could be incorrect. But either way, uh, these are the true limbs, which are the ones that will survive into becoming an adult. Whereas in caterpillars, as we'll see in a little bit, they have... some pro limbs which they just make make up just a bunch of different kinds and then they all go away in the cocoon goo except for the six which make up the main six legs of the moth and or butterfly and or beetle or dragonfly damselfly things like that too I guess they have different street. Thanks. Yeah, I think so. I mean, it probably says what these are here somewhere, but... Sort of the goal, too, is that, like, legitimately I do very much love animals, if you if we can't tell. And, um, yeah, I wanted to learn a lot more about them as well and learn about their crazy traits and the weird things. And It's pretty sweet, so I've been learning a lot and I'm interested in uh, sharing that, those, that knowledge with you, if you, you know, as we progress with this beast timber, you know? Beast Zember. See again here where it's light. It's, the light is hitting downwards here, so anything that's kind of perpendicular to that surface. All these little bumps will sort of show that. Oops, I don't really want that line there though. Animal logic, writing it down. I even got a little notepad this time in case you give me any recommendations and the microcosm one as well that you gave me oh there we go that's great that's exactly I mean Sort of what I'm planning on doing is might as well, right? Just explain some stuff while we draw it. But that's really cool. I didn't know that was the, the channel, so I'm going to certainly check that out.
upstairs. I bet you it's time for her to go to bed soon. So I should turn down the jazz before I get a text. As per the usual. Always, but you know, gotta be respectful. Okay, I still draw too many caterpillars. Yeah, see, that's what I also might do with some of these, um, some of these. Be December things. I don't know if I'm going to go live every day. I would like to challenge myself to try and do as many as I can, but I will definitely be going on some Christmas dinners and things, so I won't be able to make it every single day, maybe, but hopefully we can. And um, if not, then yeah, I want to do uh, some videos where I just sort of draw and speak over them a little bit, speed up some processes. These ones will just be. Different. Here's that tardigrade here, that water bear we were talking about earlier. It's pretty cool. It's a little too complicated for what I want to draw today, so I'm not gonna. But maybe another day. Oh, some caterpillars. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Really? I don't have any more caterpillars than that. Maybe these ones are. Yeah. There we go. Look at this guy. Look at like what is what is nature trying to do? Like what are you why would you do that? But see, these ones up here, are there actual six limbs? No, actually up here, I think they're all folded in. And these are its pro limbs down here. It's not a very good reference, really, because it's a little too hard to understand what's happening. Oh, Matt. <laughs> sure, let's start with this terrifying caterpillar. Is the smooth jazz getting annoying? See, like, I don't know if I should put music and just so that people have something to listen to when it's not just my obnoxious voice. Oh, speaking of obnoxious voices, my dog is whining. But if I should do, um, this is ridiculous. Why did I choose this one? Like, ain't nobody want to draw this caterpillar ever. Like, what am I doing? I'm not drawing this thing. I mean, I could, but I'm going to do a good amoeba for the end here. But let's try. Let's, there's got to be at least one just cute caterpillar that we can slap out. Yeah, this guy, he's a nice boy. Look at He's a stripey boy. Yeah, well, that's sort of what I thought the enemy would be, silence as well, but I also want people to feel like if they want to draw along or what have you, that they could sort of put their own... Oh, no, hey, what, hey, what the... What the heck happened? If they want to put their own music on... Uh, I don't know what happened there. Then they could segmented thoughts which one was it am I gonna guess right nope <laughs> not drawing that guy either why do you choose these ones for your nope this one nope we did it I will uh, load these into my sub view for other days Okay, I might have to take a pause to let my dog go out. We can do this. Little 
head. If we want, we can even try to make this into two body parts, which is kind of what it is. And it becomes a butterfly. I'm not going to be too concerned with all the details and anatomy of these caterpillars, but let's just have some fun drawing some, some caterpillar shapes here. Reaching, oh, look at the little reachy arms trying to grab the a branch. Reach. True that. True that. Good point, Nico. You're always, you're so wise, Nico. My, my ambassador, my, my muse. <laughs> Got the little sleeves there, see? Mm -hmm. So you didn't give him enough uh, body down here still, I don't think, but that's okay, that's okay. That's where we're drawing creatures that aren't, super recognizable so you can get away with a little bit and people won't know the difference all right can you hear my dog probably not but i think it's a sign that i gotta go do something about it all right please please stand by wait i'm gonna put on the jazz again
we're back and we're drawing some some caterpillars. Thanks for sticking around, Nico, and anybody who might be watching this at another time. a little bit long that's okay it's okay nobody needs to know except they look too long so some people might need to know as in I'll know so I'm gonna fix it in fact I think even this one could be the lowest one and then we could add the other two at the top there excuse me this is Ricci. It's Christina Ricci arms. Excuse me, he's got his little sleeves. Again, just cylinders, right? We could even do the spirals here if we want. Kind of vibe and we can erase them a little bit after if we want but give us that not really sure what's going on there but this is his mouth parts here it's good enough it's good enough not too concerned about these things but we can make some blobbies. Little fun drawing some, some fun little caterpillars today too. So Nico, as my advisor, do you uh, what do you think of times? You know, like I know it doesn't really seem to matter right now because I don't really have the audience, but like. I think it should be afternoons, mornings. I kind of like evenings because I am freeish more in the evenings, but you can make it work some other time. You know, I don't know. What do people do? Artists, you know, they're up all the time. They're up at night. They're up at the day. I don't know. I guess just whatever's comfortable for me and not come to me. Yeah, yeah, agreed. My biggest reasoning for 
not doing it actually a little bit earlier than I did today and because honestly I feed the pets so I actually fed them a bit earlier today because we usually feed them around 6 30 uh, but um, yeah I agree with you it's probably best to have a early evening sesh right but when people are getting off work whoops I missed a whole I missed a whole thing See, don't forget complicated shape actually well I'm worrying too much about these patterns that I said I wouldn't worry they were about but Pretty cool, it's got the same little squiggle every time with a stripe in the middle. So the stripe is where the segments are, and the squiggle is <clears throat> where the legs are. Two dots there. Fuzzy feet. Ooh, he's got the little fuzzy feet. I'm gonna highlight his little sleeves here on top.
do 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 getting close almost two hours at this point already but I'm gonna do one more nice kind of amoeba to kind of close it off so I'm gonna touch up this little guy a little bit There's a little bit of a, just a bit of a rim right here, just to like, just pull them out a little bit. Just a little bit of edge. For fun. I think that's looking pretty cool. Let's um, <clears throat> excuse me. Let's do an amoeba. Let's do one nice, cool amoeba. And we'll uh, arrange all this stuff and share it a little bit later on when we get some time. But how you doing out there, Nico? You still out there? Still looks like you are. Thanks for being the only person here. Blowing up my chat. Oh, there'll be more. There will be more. You'll see. Zoom in. I'm going to go back and look at that one really good amoeba reference that I have. If we can go too far. Duplicate. Because I also like that paramecium. Well, oh, it's not going to work. Who cares? We get the picture. Okay. All right. This one's got a 3D. We want to be, I want to make it like it's floating in water, not just splatted on a thing. I use this as inspo. I want to make sure that we have the right, all the right parts. Nucleus. 
<clears throat> Excuse me. What? How? Wait. Find a video game where I draw and Twitch stream me playing it. Oh, you just mean not at the same time, but just just to gain Twitch followers to bring them over to YouTube? That would be a bad idea. Because I don't know... Make a video game. Where I draw. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Interesting. I never really thought about that. That's cool. I didn't. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe I could look into that faux shell. Not a bad idea. Still want it a little bit bluer than that, I think. Let's go. We're in there. Yeah, sure. You say, yeah, sure? Yeah, sure. sure. Did you say, yeah, sure? Or, yes, sir? What I said was, yeah, sh sure, sir. Yeah, I know. Freaking gaming. Well, like, legitimately, ultimately, my goal is to try to make games, and that's this is sort of the long term thing, but like, that was the idea between like doing some of this, and I want to try to get a bit better at creature design and world design so that I can actually um, maybe do some of that weird worlds thing. Maybe. How are we going to do this? This could kind of... Let's see if we could... Something like that. And then maybe back here it's got... This sort of thing. Oh, well... I kind of I think I changed it to weird worlds, but weird with W Y R D. I haven't really gone through it too much yet, but um always wanted something that kind of like encompassed the different universe things and it's um it's like a Norse a Norse thing I think. And it's like the idea that um, well, I can't even really think while I'm drawing this, but uh, everything sort of ties together through their own sort of weirds and its own web of weird um, kind of thing. And deal screen. Now is it just that I'm just not drawing dark enough? <laughs> that'll help <laughs> just didn't want to go too dark but <laughs> I guess that doesn't help when it's is it as pixelated as it looks on my my screen like is it just crazy ass blurry Hope not. No, I was drawing kind of light, and I guess I, again, once I kind of forget that I've got <laughs> people watching, and I gotta kind of make it obvious what I'm drawing here, but.
nucleus. Maybe it's going for these little weird other single-celled organisms that's going to eat them. Who knows? like this that these three here are the same same size essentially These two shapes are almost the exact same shape flipped, which I don't like, so maybe. I almost did the exact same thing I just tried to avoid. <laughs> or maybe it's the shape I don't like. Who knows? See, and that's where we um, program our brains to do certain things. I don't want to try to eliminate that. Or not eliminate it, but change it up. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to try better at drawing new shapes and things. Yeah, maybe that's a bit different. Objects to look like they're coming in front, you can kind of 
if you want. You could draw their lines if there is lines a little bit thicker. As they recede into the back, they should become a little bit thinner. Not a big fan of how dark these lines turned out now, but I'm going to fix those up a bit. I wonder if my lady friend is coming home soon It's probably almost that time How's your lady friend, Nico? Lady friends? Maybe you have all kinds of lady friends, I guess, but... You know which one I mean. Tardigrade is probably bigger than than a uh, amoeba, but he's just a baby one. Who cares? We're doing what we want to do. We're drawing what we want to draw. <sighs> Hello, Brooklyn nine one nine nine. What part did you? What came up that you referenced? I wonder if I know and reference the same part. Okay, I think that's looking like a pretty cool amoeba. I like the balance is off there, but maybe it needs something here to kind of... It's reaching for something there. We'll see. is whining again but she's gonna have to wait oh it's because the lady friend is home let's finish up this this amoeba and then we'll call it a day a night a night it is 9 45 at night that's probably why it is better to start a little bit earlier this can be on the uh, YouTubes for a while, so it's all G. Ah, 
Good note. I don't know if I remember that. How's your pump, pump, pump? I forgot to say wife. Seems like a seems like a Hitchcock Hitchcock thing. I don't really remember, but it sounds like something he'd say. No, I didn't. All right, let's put some little bit of uh, finesse on this, and then we'll call it. your pump pump wife yeah, what we can do is duplicate this layer which will maybe be able to maybe see it a little bit more for now boom trying to be so quiet in the first live stream ever I don't know if I mentioned this I probably did but she yelled out do you want a blowjob in the background I thought it was really funny because it was sort of stuff that I was really nervous about and then it just happened anyway so it's like well got that out of the blue out of the, out of the way I can't talk and draw about it at this point it might be the only way to make money her and her friend Maggie are they actually have an, Insta <laughs> an Instagram account I'll put it in the link in the description uh, it takes two dot feet they've got um, for their foot pics uh, that will be soon releasing uh, adult ones I don't know if that's actually gonna happen but you never know you never know but um, they actually do have the Instagram sort of as a joke, sort of as a not. Let's see.
have an OnlyFans, Nico? If you want, I can link it in the description after the... Cosmic translucency. Amarath money? I don't know if I know what that is. should know that but I guess I I guess I don't but um that's cool yeah if I could make big streamer big OnlyFans money I guess I'd be okay with that crystals at. I drew a couple of crystals and then I kind of lost them in there. Looking pretty good. Amaranth. Do um, one more layer under this of the big soft airbrush.
we're doing it now in a little bit. We'll, uh, we'll erase a bit of this stuff, but he's faded out a bit. The uh, want the focus to be the amoeba, so there's a little too many bits here. Jazz has stopped again. That's a sign we're going too late. A few more minutes. I think we're almost ready to call this. No. But, um, hey. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks so much, Nico. Thank you. I think we get the picture with this, so let's do this a bit bigger here. Nope, don't really like that either. I'm just, just ruining it. Welcome home. I'm almost done. Welcome. Good to see you. How you doing? How was work? Thanks. That's too bad. Sorry it was slow for you. But I'm glad you're home. It's good to have you. Good to see you. I'm gonna just I'm gonna 
bit of a vignette here. Come give you all the kisses, or Coke give me all the kisses. I will come give you all the kisses in moments. All right, I think we're gonna call this pretty much done. What we're gonna do though is um, add a little adjustment layer here to see if we can uh, get this a little more pizzazz. What we're doing here is, uh, oh, well, thank you. What we're doing here is just a little adjustment layer. Just kind of uh, tweaking some of the highlight and shadow colors here, see if we can get another little bit of punch. Magenta in the shadows, maybe. Too much green. Well, maybe I kind of like it a little greener. Shows all the different colors a little bit, a little bit more rainbowy. I think that's the one. Let's maybe just adjust the layers a bit more, or the levels a bit more here. You know what? I think I'm gonna sign it. Call her done. guy here just to get a little, so you can see that the amoeba is reaching for it. I'm going to 
Colin. I know I keep saying that, but now's the time. How you spell Amoeba? Well, I don't like that. I'll touch it up later. But. As usual, I'll probably couple little touch-ups and things to this but you know what as always it's been fun Nico and Tara and uh, whoever else came along thanks Nico and um, Nico if you did draw I would love to um, see what you drew in Discord, and uh, maybe can share it on another uh, another stream. Cause that would be cool. Cause I wanna show how awesome people are, and uh, you're one of those awesome people. Whoa! All right. We're done. We're done. Call it done, man. We're dropping the stylus. That's not good. Don't do that. So this is my amoeba. All right. This is the daily. Uh, this is the amoeba. Let's uh, open the last few that we worked on today. And we'll do a bit of a recap as I um, sign off. But we got some caterpillars here some grubs and stuff but um, thanks so much for tuning in and um, hey thank you to all my amazing patrons Nico M yeah, there you are big guy thanks so much for that Shara F Danielle A K911 Data Luck RPG Karen H Jeremy H B. Did I say Carolyn? Karen H. Sherry K. Thruki. Jessica R. Oh yeah. All right. Thanks for stopping by, and uh, maybe we'll see you in the next live stream. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe yeah, uh, no time, but we'll see how we do. But thanks for stopping by on the first of uh, December. Can I say thanks for stopping by a few more times? Thanks for stopping by. Okay. So uh, thanks for stopping by. And thanks for stopping by. Do, 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 do.